Hi, today we're going to talk about using result in and result from correctly in English. Let's get started. Which of the following sentences is correct? The fire resulted from a lighted match. The lighted match resulted in a fire. Both are correct. Neither is correct. Think about it. The best answer is C. Both are correct. The fire resulted from a lighted match. The lighted match resulted in a fire. What? How could both of these sentences be correct? Well, the answer is two things. Focus and preposition. Let's look at the examples. The fire resulted from the lighted match. In this case, we're focusing on the fire. The lighted match resulted in the fire. In this case, we're focusing on the lighted match. Now notice the usage of the prepositions here. Resulted from means like it came from. Resulted in means it caused a certain effect to happen. So think of it like this. Result from means come from. Result in means end in. The fire resulted from the lighted match. It came from the lighted match. The lighted match resulted in the fire. The end result was the fire. You can also think of it like this. Result from is the cause. Result in is the effect. So far so good? Now, here's where it becomes complicated. We're going to try to combine some sentences and see what happens. Let's look at two sentences here. Frank dropped a match in the forest. His action resulted in a huge fire. Can you see the two sentences? Each of them has its own subject and its own verb. Frank dropped a match in the forest. His action resulted in a huge fire. So, I've highlighted the main verb, dropped, and resulted in. What if we want to take these two sentences and put them into one? Frank dropped a match in the forest, resulting in a huge fire. See what happened here. Dropped is the main verb. Resulting in is not the main verb in the sentence. It's kind of like an afterthought. It's part of the sentence, but it's not the main verb. That's why we're using the ing form. Now let's focus on the fire. Let's look at two sentences and then combine them into one. The fire was a huge disaster. It resulted from a dropped match. You see the main subject here is the fire, and it is also referring to the fire. When we take these two sentences and combine them into one, one subject and one verb is going to dominate. Okay, in this case, the fire is the main subject. The main verb is was. And then we're going to put a phrase in between the subject and the main verb. So it goes like this. The fire resulting from a drop match was a huge disaster. Can you see how that works? Let's move things around a little bit. The fire resulting from a dropped match was a huge disaster. Now let's take that phrase in the middle and put it at the beginning of the sentence. Resulting from a dropped match, the fire was a huge disaster. So the main subject is fire, the main verb is was, and resulting from a dropped match is just an introductory phrase in this case. 
One more thing with result. Look at this sentence. The fire was the result of a dropped match. In this case, the word result is not a verb, but a noun. So we use the phrase, be the result of. So remember, with result in and result from, result is a verb, and we have verb usage. Be a result of. The word result is a noun, so we have noun usage. One more thing. What's the difference between a result of and the result of? Well, a result of can mean one of many things, one of many causes, one of many effects. Whereas the result of means only one cause or only one effect. Also, the noun result is count. That means we can say one result or many results. Let's look at another example. Look at the picture. The goal was due to poor defense. How can we say this sentence using result? Think about it. Well, there are several ways. Let's look at some examples. The goal was due to poor defense. The goal was a result of poor defense. Notice we're using the noun form. The goal result, resulted from poor defense. We're using result as a verb. Poor defense resulted in a goal for the other team. We had poor defense resulting in a goal for the other team. Can you see how that works? We can say the same idea in many different ways using the word result. Hope that was helpful. Now you know how to use these expressions correctly and more creatively in English. That's all for today on Say It Right in English. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click on the links below, youtube.com at English Free For You and eslgold.com slash H-U-M-I-X. See you in the next video.